Hi friends, uh, this is a continuation of the hot and cold sunflower experiment. These were the cold sunflowers from the last video and I put them on a uh, heat pad and uh, I'm not real happy. This is 10 days in and there's just lots of uh, sunflower hulls still on them. I'm thinking about letting them go another day, but um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. However, here's the real experiment, and the uh, show today is I've got a hot batch with plywood in between, and then I've got a cold batch of sunflowers uh, that are cold. Okay, so here's the results. The hot ones, are they cooked? Oh, they're dead. Oh, that's too bad. Too much heat, I guess. I think they like some heat, but this is just way too much. And the other problem is I've got these, um, I've got these reflectix things on top that's uh, it's just not working with these heat pads I thought I had uh, reduced the heat by putting a piece of plywood underneath but uh, still too hot let's look at the cold in comparison here's what it looks like without heat uh, I don't know if you can see but the side that is near the heat is further developed than the side that is away from the heat. So another step. Well here's that heat pad. I guess uh, they are just too hot for what I'm doing and probably because of the insulation that I put on top uh, that just um, killed the sunflowers. So I'm not sure I'm going to continue with this. Maybe if there's some other way I can reduce the heat because I think adding some heat is good, but um, I mean, if you look at how this developed right next to where the warm uh, warmth is, they're a little step ahead. But we'll see where this goes. So I still think that um, some heat is beneficial. You can see on the right side of this the uh, that's the side that the um, tray was right next to the heat, so they were warmer. But I have to find a way to regulate the heat if I'm going to use those heat pads. But um, for now, I'm not going to use them anymore. I made up two devices uh, to control the uh, seedling heat pad. This is an extension cord with a relay spliced into it. That relay is a solid state relay that looks like this. Um, the output, basically I cut one of the wires of the extension cord and connected it to these two posts. And then this side is the control. And on this box here, essentially this piece is inside of here. And this is the, these are the control wires. And whenever there is a low voltage applied to these two wires, then the switch turns on and the extension cord goes live. So the second part to control this, I've got a Arduino and uh, it's powered by USB, just a simple plug. And it's programmed, it's similar to the Blink program. It turns on for a few seconds and then it turns off for a period of seconds. And it outputs about three and a half volts through these two um, wires. Connect these two wires to the control wires here. And I have a, an extension cord that can be turned on and off by the controller. So now I have my extension cord and controller connected and powering 
the heat pad and um, this heat pad's been off for a while it's cooling down at the moment been taking measurements in this configuration and uh, this is what I get um, I know that at a hundred percent duty cycle in other words the light the power is on 100 percent of the time uh, the seedlings die at 111 Fahrenheit and that's not necessarily the temperature that the seedlings experience but that's that thermometer in this configuration and I also know at 0% duty cycle it's about 70 degrees F in the in the house and uh, the sunflowers do not drop their hulls very well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this at a 40% duty cycle, which should take it up to about 93 degrees Fahrenheit. And so the test is going to be at a 40% duty cycle. Um, will the sunflowers drop their hulls?